Hello and welcome back to another beer review. Um, we're off to Fuller's. We're off to Fuller's. I always get giggles these days when I do beer reviews. I don't know why. Because <laughs> the world at the moment is bloody shit, isn't it? <laughs> I just get giggles. <laughs> We've got a Fuller's beer. Um, this one was picked up at Tesco. Way before Tesco in the old days. Way before all this um, social distancing malarkey came into action. Tesco in the good old days, should I say. For 80 pence. Because I think they were getting rid of it. And we've got a full of this one. And it's a West Coast Hopped IPA. Oh, got a bit of, oh, got a bit of heartburn. Body. Anyway. It's their Citrus Cyclone, boys and girls. Uh, was it 5.6% ABV? There you go. There's the back side, which I shall read to you. It says, All American hops collide with grapefruit peel, pulp and juice to deliver tart flavours. Brace your taste buds for a Citrus Cyclone. That sounds pretty much self-explanatory, doesn't it? What I'm going to expect from this. So let's crack it open. Like we do. Oh, a little bit of smoke there. There's the Fuller's Griffin crown. Let's see what we get. Yeah. Self explanatory. Citrus up the neck, up your nostril, clearing the old airwaves, whack it in the glass. There's nothing really much more to say about the aroma as such. There she is. As you can see, quite a clear gold colour. Deep gold colour, should I say. Two fingers worth of head, which is dissipating down to one finger's worth of head, which is going to dissipate down to nothing, most probably, in a minute. So there you go. Steady flow carbonation going up. Yeah, it's just grapefruit. It's, it's grapefruit for breakfast, really. Uh, grapefruit for breakfast and a... Uh, and a, and a bed of breakfast. <laughs> what going on about? I haven't even touched a drop yet. Must be cabin fever. It's making me go a bit, a bit stupid. Like I do. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to go in. Because cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah. A very grapefruity. Real, yeah. Right there. But it's you, you do get that real bite of grapefruitness as soon as you drink it, as soon as it's in your mouth. But then you get what I call the fullest taste. There seems to be a taste about their all their beers. It's this this character in their beers. Well, it'll make me think if I had a blindfold test. With some beers and one of them was a Fuller's. I'll be able to pick out a Fuller's beer. There is a certain taste to it. It's like a slight bready yeasty taste to it. Which makes it different to all the other beers. Um, I, I can pick it up. You know, everybody's got different palates. Everybody's got different opinions. On beer, some people might be able to taste it, some people might not. But there always seems to be this character in Fuller's beers, which you can just pick pick out, it stands out a mile. Yeah, it's, it's not as beer as what I thought now. Um, yeah, it's bready, grapefruit feel to it. Um, it does feel well. It does feel clean in the mouth as well. It's a clean feel in the mouth for this beer. Um, would I buy it again for eighty pence? If this was eighty pence, still, I most probably won't. You know, because you know it's it's safe enough. Like a lot of beers. You do get a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, everything feels safe. But it doesn't stick out, does it? It doesn't 
make you think, yeah, I've got to go back to Tesco and pick up a load of food of Citrus Cyclone again. It doesn't give you that, you know, oomph. It just feels very ordinary. You know, and Fuller's have done some really nice beers over the years. ESB, that was a a cracking beer. Cracking beer. Um, what else? I've, I've never had the London Port. That's supposed to be a real special one as well. But they have done some e excellent beers. They are an excellent brewer, but a beer like this with their name on doesn't feel special. It's the way, you know, it just feels a bit ordinary. So one more for the road, I think, boys and girls. Mm. Pretty ordinary stuff. Self-explanatory on the label. What you see is what you get with this beer. Nothing else, really, to be honest. But it's another one to tick off on the list like you do so boys and girls thank you very much for watching this if you want to try it try it it's now special um thank you very much for watching this beer review um hope you're all safe keeping yourself all well on that don't forget one of these tory dickheads to get on your downing street briefings has just said all the parks are open in uh in the towns now so off we go to the park God, I talk some shit. Thank you very much for watching this beer review. As ever, please subscribe, murder me in the comments, and I shall see you all tomorrow with another beer review. Stay safe, everyone, and the all-stars too. Cheers.